back in this video we are going to see how to arrange icons on your desktop and uh, for this purpose I am going to actually um, bring a lot more files onto the desktop but I strongly s recommend not to do that I do not share or uh, not share but uh, like do not store store your what happened ah i just uh, accidentally stumbled upon a cool keyboard to quickly copy its command d <laughs> that's what i did uh, i'm so used to windows keep uh, shortcut keys so let's uh, move them here and you can see it says 38 and here I have everything been move on the desktop and just uh, look at it and see how cluttered it is actually it's uh, giving me a headache <laughs> but uh, onto that that you should not save all your documents files on your desktop um, working with uh, you know all the managers I see that uh, they like to uh, save all their files on the, the desktop for easier access maybe or you know they really don't want to go into different uh, uh, folder structure or they simply uh, have no idea how computer works they are good at their management but they for this purpose you know, so we have like a system where a certain level of manager has certain level of RAM approved for their laptop for example uh, and uh, a level 4 manager is the has 8 GB a level 5 manager has uh, 16 GB so that's how they work and one time I was working with the manager and he had all his uh, um, files on the desktop and one of the key software that uh, they use wasn't working for him and other than that there was nothing wrong with the laptop so I moved all of his files into the documents folder so they were all gone from the desktop and just like that that software started working so no reinstallation of software no troubleshooting of that software just moving all those files into a documents folder so they are not, and these files on the, the desktop they were not even open they were just sitting there so just by sitting there they are hogging memory so make sure that's a like pro tip make sure whenever you're troubleshooting a laptop for uh, um, like a program not opening due to memory errors make sure there is nothing on the desktop so I hope uh, by this time you have read uh, all the names and thinking what they're about, what I do with them. That's not the topic of the this video. But uh, the other the other thing is, I'm sure it's giving you a headache as well. So let's go and start a little bit uh, tweaking around. So from the view, you can see use stacks, sort by, clean up and clean up by. So if we go, click on stack, you can see it's much nicer compared to what here uh, was just a few seconds ago. Now you can see these are the documents. So these stacks, PDF documents, movies, spreadsheets, developers. So these stacks, they are based on the file type. For example, these are will be probably our all txt or D, dot doc these will be all pdfs these are the movies spreadsheet excel files developers like any file that is you can see the, it, there were a couple of html but any file that it has to do with coding be it uh, web coding or any other coding like dot uh, py or a, anything related to the that will be here and the other so if i click on here it will show me dot pub dot ppk dot pam if you know the, these are used for authentication uh into uh, like ssh stuff uh, these are all that file so it's stacking them under uh, others 
these are all HTML spreadsheet and you can see that you, I click and it's opening those stacks so let's close the developer stack and I have Excel files and movies so everything related to movies PDF documents you can see all the PDFs here and images finally so there are a lot of images they are all here and finally documents you can see it's docx that's a word document and dot txt that's a uh, normal notepad document and dot csv it's a comma separated file so they are all under documents now if we go and do don't use stack we're back to that screen that's going to give us headache what else we have sort by none but if we snap to grid what will happen is that it's there are like a grid it this file even if i leave it here it will go and get in place that's for the grid now we don't snap to grid and you can see i can uh, uh not really okay i thought that was it but oh it's still snap great now i can move it just a little bit you can see so it's not going back in place to that grid all right cool now sort by name you can see now these are by name but like uh, alphabetical order i believe first uh, one two and then abc so for uh if you notice in windows all the icons are on the left hand of the screen but uh, these are all on the left uh, right side and then they are going from this side like you can see this is a then b c e you get the picture it's going from right to left now one other thing you can see that wherever i move the cursor it's falling back in where it belongs in, in the like in kind now they are rearranged by kind so dot uh, ppk whatever like the these are the developers then pictures movies you get the idea and date last open so whenever the file was last open that's how uh, they are arranged so basically if i click this one i open it i watch the picture okay yeah it was winter time and a snowstorm just started i can close it and you can see now it's all the way on the top if i open the next one see it moved right there and another picture okay Oh wow, that looked a lot brighter than I remember. But yeah, it, at that time it's too cool that you're actually paying any attention to your surrounding. It gets like crazy cold here. All right, so let's go back and oh, what happened? Were you? Oh, that was selected. So there is another one that is date added, date modified, created, size, tag. So we're going to go by none. And now you can see that they're not falling in place. I can even actually place it here. And they're not rearranging. Uh, now clean up by name. What does that do? Okay. So clean up basically it's just another view sort by and clean up by clean up selection oh no clean up so what does clean up does is that if you have like like this and if you go and clean it up basically it places them in grids make them a little bit aligned 
but if you oh that was clean up by uh, clean up selection so it will only clean up these three so you can see only these three will move clean up selection and they move to you know falling in place to that grid we saw earlier but if we go and clean up by for example kind they are rearranging so they will go back and place so that's a neat neat, neat little feature uh, the other one is date modify date created size tag so exactly the same options kind of same that we have here probably you're going to use more of these but cleanup is good as well don't think that uh, it will erase files that you no longer need like windows have a cleanup feature uh, for the drive it's nothing like that it's just uh, rearranging them putting them back in place where they belong something like that all right so for let's call this a video i'm gonna wrap it up here if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i will see you in the next one